Hello everyone, Jake here, and today we're going to be talking about props and how to use them in Hammer. So, Hammer has three different types of props, three basic types of props. There's actually a lot of different types of props, but the three basic ones are the static prop, which are props that remain completely unchanged no matter what happens, the dynamic prop, which are props that can be changed, they're very similar to static, they're different in that they have attributes that can be manipulated through triggers and whatnot. And then there's physics props, which are props that are basically subject to the whims of the physics engine and can be interacted with by the player and picked up and thrown around and what have you. So what I've got here is a demonstration of each of the types of props. So this table here would, is a uh, static prop. So you can see up here under its class distinction, we have prop underscore static. And if you watch the first video, we placed a desk this way because static props are by far the easiest to work with. Now, to make sure that a prop model is static, when you place a static a prop static entity, you go into the world model viewer, and then you look for a little check mark next to the box that says static. There might also be one next to dynamic, but that's because a lot of static props also have a dynamic setting that allows them to be manipulated in the case where they're used as a dynamic prop. So this one here is a check box next to the static, which means we can use it as a static prop. So in game, this is going to do absolutely nothing when I bump into it, apart from having a, you know, a collision system wherein I can, you know, I can stand on top of it and hop around on it and whatnot. Now, the next type of prop is the dynamic prop. Now, the dynamic props, like I said, they're similar to static props, but they have attributes that can be manipulated, and they can also run animations. So in this case, this door right here, when I press this button, this door will open. It'll run an open animation, and it'll you know, create a hole through which I can walk. Now, don't worry about how I set up the button. We'll cover that in a later video, perhaps. And so, yeah, a dynamic prop, it has, you can change the prop's skins. So if I click on here, you can see class is prop underscore dynamic. And if I go to the door settings, you can see it has sequences under the sequences tab. Oh, these aren't working. Great. Um, let me reopen it. No, okay. Yeah, sometimes the model viewer can freeze, but you can see right here, the prop has an animation, which means it's dynamic, and you can see there's a checkbox next to the dynamic setting, and neither the physics, setting, uh, the physics setting nor the static setting, which means this is a completely dynamic prop. You have to run it as a prop underscore dynamic, or it won't render. And then I've given it a name, door underscore one, and then under the model settings, it has a series of animations that I can apply or I can trigger. And so, what this button does is it essentially triggers an open animation. So when I press this button, it triggers the open animation for this dynamic prop, which can be manipulated. So that's probably a little bit complicated, but it's you know fairly easy to get, get a grasp of once you start to use it. Now the last basic class of prop is the physics prop, and this is probably the easiest to understand because it's simply a prop that can be picked up and moved around by the player. Now, this chair is really just a basic physics prop. It has a checkbox next to the static, but it won't render if you try and render it as a uh, static class. You have to render it as a physics class prop. And what that essentially will do in-game is it allows me to pick it up and throw it around and do all sorts of stuff to it because it is subject to the physics engine. It doesn't stay in one spot, and it doesn't have attributes that can be manipulated like the dynamic prop, and it can't be locked down like the static prop. It has to move around and do stuff. So yeah, that's the basic three classes of props. And you know, there's a lot that I didn't cover because there's a lot of other props. Like this button here is its own sort of subclass of prop. Also, it's spazzing out. Eh, oh well. Um, yes, buttons and buttons and doors and whatnot can be their own subclasses of props. And yeah, there's. There's really a lot, like there is with everything in Hammer. So, anyways, um, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Leave a comment if you got any questions, and uh, I'll see you next time.